Well, uh, hello everybody. Uh, finally got back to the layout, did a little bit more work. Um, decided to put the gravel road in and uh, put some more grass on this side. Again, this is kind of separating the uh, farmland and anything I do over here that's more rural related um, to the city. I uh, still haven't wired and completed the sidewalks yet. Um, still mental block on that, but I think I'm getting close. I think I know what I'm going to do. But in any event, I wanted to give a quick update um, as I've added more grass on this side. I put in a gravel road, um, added more ballast, and um, so essentially just moving along. Okay. There you go. Quick update uh, for the evening. I do believe that I am going to end up taking the post office since it's kind of a transition building, I think, from the city to rural. Um, I'm going to take it and actually put it on that plot right there uh, once everything gets dried up and stuff. And then I might uh, put a little park between it and the uh, gorge or something. Make it public land, so to speak. All right, well, anyway, just want to give you guys a quick look. Um, any suggestions, as always, in terms of uh, improving the layout or coming up with better ideas or suggestions, appreciate it. One thing I will say is working with the matting this time, I would keep the matting rolled up, or the, I should say the, the batting rolled up. If it becomes unrolled and kind of sticks to other thing, I think it becomes just a little more fluffy than usual. But I'm not, again, once you put the paint on it, which again, this is that technique where I put the paint on and then come back later and uh, put the ground cover on before it dries and then spray it down. So we'll let this dry and uh, see how she turns out. Anyway, a uh, quick update. Been a while since I posted. Uh, the experiment on the River Gorge is still ongoing. I'll get back to it in a little bit. So catch you guys later.